In this tutorial, I want to show you a way of redefining proportions for your model. At first, I need to make upper part of a body. A duplicate cube, scale it down and slightly change its shape. Now the fun part. Lower body is the same length as the upper body. And the pelvis is twice as short. So I just duplicate upper body cube and reverse it. Then I duplicate it again and shape the blocks. And now we have a rough but proportionally correct block out of torso. And now we can make arms and legs. Length of the upper arm is the same as the upper body. And so I duplicate the cube again and scale it accordingly to upper body. This one will be used to define shoulder, an excellent forearm. For convenience, I parent arm cube to shoulder cube. Next, I need to make a forearm, which is the same length as the upper arm. So, I can just duplicate upper arm and change the shape slightly. Also, you can pose arm as you need. Then I duplicate shoulder block and make an elbow to it. Now we can proceed to legs. First we will find length of the tie. Which is the same as length from shoulder to top of the pelvis. And as usual I duplicate Q, place it around torso and scale it accordingly. The length of the shin and heel is the same as the length of the thigh. So I can duplicate the thigh block and change the shape. Also I made in block for knee. Now we can make foot, which is the same as the length of forearm. I duplicate cube again and make it the same length as forearm block. Then place it and add in some details. To find where I need to place toes, you can draw a line from shin to end of foot block and divide it in half two times. I am making work for toe and using annotations to find where I should place it. Add few loop cuts and place end edges on the line that you found. Also, we need to move lower edges slightly forward. And now I can duplicate and scale cubes to make toes.
And now the hardest part, the hand. At first we need to make pentagonal shape from usual cube. Add loop cut in center and move one edge. Add another loop cut and move edges on wrist close together. The length of the finger is the same as the palm. To find where to place finger joints, we just need to divide length of finger in two two times. We can make finger in two ways by adding loop cuts or scaling and duplicating cube. Now I can add other fingers and scale them accordingly to place of the palm they attach it to. Also we need to move this part of palm slightly lower. Now we need to add skin lower part of palm. As we can see, we just need to move lower edges to make fingers visually divide in three equal segments. Then I add another loop cut and extrude two faces to add some volume. To make thumb, we just need to use length of palm and first phalanx of index finger. I duplicate one of the fingers and scale it accordingly. Then rotate and place it. At last, we need to add skin between thumb and palm. Duplicate one of the blocks and change its shape. Now I can parent fingers to palm for easier placement. Then I do the same for other parts. Now we can change scale of the parts without losing their proportions. Then I select all the parts that need to be mirrored, add mirror modifier and set upper body as mirror object and then duplicate mirror to select it. And now we have a blackout with correct proportions that ready for sculpting. Thank you for watching.